And welcome to St. Jude the Apostle Parish as we celebrate the 12th Sunday of Ordinary Time. Our presider today is Father Xavier. The disciples were terrified when a violent squall came up while they were sailing on the Sea of Galilee, but not Jesus. He rebuked the storm and calmed the waves. May we turn to the Lord during the stormy periods of our lives, trusting his strength and his concern for us all. Please join in singing our opening hymn, I Sing the Mighty Power of God, number 430, in the Breaking Bread books, that's number 430. I sing the mighty power of God that made the mountains rise, that spread the flowing seas abroad and built the lofty skies. I sing the wisdom that ordained the sun to rule the day. The moon shines full at his command, and all the stars obey. I sing the goodness of the Lord that filled the earth with food. He forms the creatures with his word and then pronounced them good. Lord, how thy wonders are displayed whenever I turn my eye. If I survey the ground I tread or gaze upon the skies, there's not a plant or flower below but makes thy glory In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we gather together to experience the loving God, and in the Eucharist to experience and encounter Him, in his living presence, we have been called to understand and experience the power of God and his presence today in the gospel. He comes to us in the very Holy Eucharist in a very concrete way to enter into our hearts and minds and soul and body and spirit. Let us surrender to him and acknowledge him the power and his presence in the midst of us by asking his pardon and mercy for all our shortcomings and failures. Lord Jesus, you performed wondrous deeds to lead us closer to you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you calmed the seas and brought your disciples to greater faith. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the source of all peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will we praise you we bless you we adore you we glorify you we give you thanks for your great glory Lord God heavenly King O oh God Almighty Father Lord Jesus Christ only begun 
take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Today's readings can be found on page 179 in the front of your Breaking Bread books. That's page 179. A reading from the book of Job. The Lord addressed Job out of the storm and said, Who shall within doors the sea when it bursts forth from the womb? when I made the clouds its garment and thick darkness its swaddling bands, when I set limits for it and fastened the bar of its door and said, thus far shall you come, but no farther, and here shall your proud waves be stilled. The word of the Lord. Let them give thanks 
to the Lord for his kindness and his wondrous deeds to the children of men. Give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the love of Christ impels us once we have come to the conviction that one died for all, therefore all have died. He indeed died for all, so that those who live might live, might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for the sake died and was raised. Consequently, from now on, we regard no one according to the flesh, even if we once knew Christ according to the flesh. Yet now we know him so no longer. So whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. The word of the Lord. with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory you, Lord. On that day, as evening grew on, Jesus said to his disciples, Let us cross to the other side. Leaving the crowd, they took Jesus with them in the boat, just as he was. And other boats were with them. A violent squall came up and waves were breaking over the boat so that it was already filling up. Jesus was in the stern, asleep on a cushion. They woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up, rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Quiet, be still. The wind ceased, and there was great calm. Then he asked them, Why are you terrified? Do you not yet have faith? They were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this whom even wind and sea obey? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise. My dear brothers and sisters, who is this man? Even the winds and the seas obey him. Four women were sitting discussing their sons. The first proudly stated that her son was a bishop. So when he enters a room, people address him as Your Excellency. The second, not to be outdone, said that her son is an archbishop. 
So when he enters the room, people address him as your grace. The third quietly stated that her son was a cardinal. So when he enters the room, the people say, your eminence. The fourth woman said, well, my son is seven feet, two inches tall and weighs 430 pounds. And when he walks into a room, people say, my God. <laughs> my dear brothers and sisters, is a God experience and moment of God in today's gospel. When God came in the midst of us, wonders happened. Jesus was in that boat sleeping. The disciples were not knowing who is with them or who was with them. When they were about to sink, they were so terrified. Waking up Jesus, do something, we are sinking. And he rebuked the wind and sea and said, be still, be quiet. The disciples experienced, who is this man? Even the wind and sea obey him. As God continues to reveal through his son Jesus that Jesus is not fully man, but is also fully God. That's the reason why he says, you little faith. Do not have faith in me. Today, by somehow, we all are in that boat in our lives. Ups and downs, high tides, low tides, calm and quiet, fearful storms, hurricanes, winds, whirlwind, tornadoes, Everything comes to us. But the Lord is reminding us today, have faith. Let us not lose sight of Jesus in all our struggles and difficult moments. Because from the first reading, God reveals to Job that I am in control, not you. Sometimes when things happen unjustly to us, we wonder, we question, we are perplexed and confused, chaos cloud our mind and our lives, failing to see the presence of Jesus in oneself and in our community. This reading reminds us very powerfully that's what we must do in every little problems and unexpected situations. It was 100 years before 1923, the 50 Nobitans came to India to spread this God, to be with the tribal people, to be with the marginalized ones. And they brought Jesus to the land of India. When the abbot said to one young man, priest in Holland, tomorrow you are leaving to India as a missionary. The late night the young man went to the abbot and said, abbot, let me think. The abbot said to him, I thought about that. You are leaving to India tomorrow. And that's how people came in the faith of Jesus who led them to India 
to educate the poor and the marginalized ones, to bring peace and healing to the deprived people in the society, to bring healing and to bring respect and dignity to those people who were discriminated by caste and economical situations. And I come from India to preach and to say the love of God that came through those Dutch Norbertines to India. Today we serve in the schools and the tribal areas, the marginalized, marginalized community among the street children, in the slums, in the cities, and in rural areas. And uh, God is with us in all our struggles and difficult moments. In this struggle that we are called to extend and help those people who are struggling. Because God who showed his love in his son Jesus continues to live among us till the end of our lives. And that is the only faith that we are here and we will continue our journey of faith. And one day, we all will be in that heavenly kingdom that God has promised to all, to all of us. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us continue the same faith in our own lives, in our own struggles, in our own difficult moments. God is with us. And if we do not understand the life's unjust and expectation situations, then we must remind ourselves that God is in control, not I. With that, surely, with our humility, with our love, God enters into ourselves. Once again, as St. Paul brings us the living God who died for all of us, recreated us, we have become new creation in Jesus. It's like St. Paul, that we may have to tell with courage, it is not I who live in me, but Jesus who lives in me. Let's all stand up and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him, Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is and seated, seated at the right hand, hand of the Father. He will, he will come, come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Trusting that God provides for what we truly need, we offer him our prayers. 
for the church in her work to bring healing to those in need. May God strengthen her in her mission. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those without faith in Jesus, may our Savior's eternal love draw them to himself with the grace to overcome doubt. We pray to the Lord. Lord, you hear our prayers. For all who suffer from depression or anxiety, may God bring them comfort and respite. We pray to the Lord. Lord, you hear our prayers. For the members of this worship community, may God strengthen our faith as we face trials and hardships. We pray to the Lord. Lord, you hear our prayers. For those who have died this past week, especially Paul McHugh, and for those who are mourning the loss of someone dear to them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, you hear our prayers. For the needs within our prayer boxes, the needs expressed through the prayer chain, and for those held within the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the intention of this Mass, including those for the repose of the souls of Victor and Michael Newworth and Agnes Meyer, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Gracious Father, we come to you with confidence that you alone can answer our needs. We ask that you hear our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. As the gifts are being presented and the altar is being set, please sing our offertory hymn number 450, Amazing Grace. That's number 450. <laughs> Start 
Lord God of all creation for three of goodness we have this bread to offer which you have thus given and you have so made to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the wine and work of our human hands, will become for us a spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever, Lord of all my iniquity, cleanse me from my sins. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. In other words, it's a sacrifice for our hand, for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that, cleansed by its action, we may make offering of your heart pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with the host and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. 
for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and David our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Are the Savior's command informed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant to her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other a sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Jesus Christ bring us an everlasting life. Amen. Today's hymn for communion is number 341, Behold the Lamb. That's number 341.
After Mass tonight, the Knights of Columbus will be uh, having Tootsie Rolls at the entrances. All the money that is donated for the Tootsie Roll Drive goes to helping those with uh, intellectual disabilities. So we thank the Knights for being here. Uh, Monday night at 6 o'clock p.m. in Leanna Hall, card group is meeting. All are welcome to attend. The Holy Hour is this next Wednesday at 6 o'clock p.m. at Sacred Heart Church with confessions. And lastly, the Totus Tus program is coming up. It starts Sunday, July 7th uh, in the evening for middle school and high school students. And then on Monday of that week in the morning straight through for elementary. We highly urge everybody who has grandchildren or tr children to convince them to come. It's a great time. I was once an elementary student, a middle school student, and a high school student, but not all at the same time, one right after another. And I wish they had something fun like this when I was in school. So it's a great opportunity for kids to understand that they can learn in faith and have fun with friends at the same time. So please see the bulletin for more details. And I would like to especially thank Father Xavier thank for being here this weekend. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. We switched one priest from India for another priest from India. <laughs> thank you very much, Father, for thank being you. here. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with the constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before we conclude this Mass, I take this opportunity to thank Father Louis and uh, Deacon Brad and each and every one of you, the parishioners here, for your uh, uh, generous contribution to the Mission Appeal and giving me an opportunity to celebrate this Holy Eucharist. Thank you very much. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. The Almighty God bless you, and the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Saint, Saint Michael, Michael the, the Archangel, Archangel defend, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do, and do thou, O Prince of, of Heavenly Host, by, by the divine power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Our closing hymn today is number 619, Rain Down. That's number 619. Stop.